Another beer for you, sweetheart. Please, yeah. And for you, darling? Cola. Cola. Nothing a little more stiff. <laughs> I like the service too. A beer for you. Thank you. And a cola for you. And then I bought these gloves so that I wouldn't pull any more hair, basically. It's been working pretty good, but I don't know. It's just not like I thought it would be. Thank you for sharing, Danica. Communication can be such a powerful weapon against our compulsive behaviors. Who'd like to go next? Um, hi. <laughs> My name is Chelsea, and I'm a compulsive eater. Hello, Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. I'm not finished. I'm also a hydration addict, an oxygen addict, and a compulsive sleeper, urinator, and defecator. I mean, I try to curb, you know, to control these cravings I have, these unhealthy urges, and I can do it for a while. I mean, I cross my legs, I go for a walk, roll down the windows, listen to loud music. I mean, I try everything. but. Sooner or later, one way or another, eventually I just, I just cave in. It's a compulsion. I mean, it's like I can't live without eating, sleeping, pooping, peeing, or breathing. It's like clockwork. Every single day I wake up from a sleeping binge, kicking myself, vowing never ever to do it again, when I suddenly have this urge to void myself, and I can't control it. I mean, I sit, I stand, I dance, I clench everything with every fiber of my being but it's impossible. Before I know it, I'll be in the bathroom with my underwear around my ankles, using the toilet. It's humiliating. And then oh, when I finally finished, I'll realize that I've been breathing this entire time. I was probably breathing the whole night before too. I can't tell you how many times I've hit rock bottom. Look at me. I'm breathing right now. Who comes to a meeting like this? You're here because you can't stop breathing? Right. Or eating, drinking, pooping, and peeing. So, this is what I've got going at the moment. My goal is to travel to 1986 and to get Jared Hightower to be my date for the senior prom. And I, I firmly believe that, given the opportunity, that Jared Hightower would, is a man of his word. And that he, he will have done what it takes to be my, my date. He's, I, I, Jared has no prior history of prevarication pre or telling fibs or lies at any, at any reason. So I see no reason why that little piece of history couldn't be changed just a little bit and it really would do wonders for my social life.